wanna give you my love. You know what to do. Hit me with the moves. Wanna give you my love. Get it right now. I ain't no talking. I wanna show you love. So the hair that I'm gonna be using today are the authentic Nubian twist pre-loop 10 inch hair so i just want to give a big shout out a big thank you to sam's beauty for sending me this crochet twist i'm about to show you how i'm gonna use them so if you want to see how i got that hairstyle then keep watching all right so you already know what it is get your hair well moisturized and wet because you need it to be freshly washed for this hairstyle now that your hair is already sectioned you're gonna wanna oil up your scalp and oil up your hair with some Tuffy oils so that you're able to blow dry it and have it looking flourishing. All right, so every time I wash my hair, I always put the oil in my root and on the strands of my hair, rub it in right before blow drying. And I use it as a protectant and so that I don't have too much oil in my hair because I do have low porosity hair and I don't want the oils to just run straight down. I want them to be nicely saturated inside. So yes, y'all, eight inches of hair in two years, I feel like that is a great accomplishment for me. So now we're gonna part my hair into a middle part. So I was trying to do a style before, but it didn't work out. So I just decided to put it up into two buns and call it a day. so we're about to make this braidless painless okay so what we want to do is take one strand of hair and we want to take a crochet needle so we're going to take our crochet needle and push it through our hair right before where the ponytail starts we're going to hook the crochet needle onto the hair and pull the hair through and knot it off now we're going to do that all the way around the circumference of the bun well of the root of the bun and then when once that's full we're gonna push it underneath the bun and pull it through and knot it off so that it keeps the bun in place and then we're gonna stick the hair through the bun and pull it through so that it covers the whole bun now I know you see from right here that it doesn't look like much so I just kept putting hair through the bun pulling it through and knotting it off and then once I saw that it was getting to be enough I started pulling the twist apart to make it into a fluffy little ponytail. Once I fluffed out everything, I took the two strands of hair in the front, corrected the part, put rubber bands on them so that I could separate them, and then I took the crochet needle with the crochet hair, pushed it under and pulled one side through, and then I took one of those bangs in the front, split it in half with each crochet weave, and twisted it together so that it looks like it's my actual hair. The rubber band method really helps for people who cannot box braid or who doesn't know how to do feed in twists with crochet hair with synthetic hair, like me. So yeah, then I took those two strands, tied it around the ponytails because I didn't like how it was looking when it was hanging off my face. And then I just went right in to cutting the ponytails to making them look smaller because I thought they looked too big on me. So I just wanted them to be a little even, a little bit more fluffy and a little bit more shorter instead of hanging down to my shoulders. And of course guys, if there's still hair in between that has not been pulled apart, make sure you pull that apart so that it doesn't have that 
unnatural twisting look to it and it looks more like your real hair don't forget to get every part of the ponytail front back side and bottom Alright y'all, so this is how it came out. And <laughs> let me tell you, at first I was worried that I wouldn't like it, but now listen. Listen. Okay. I am feeling these two puffs. It made my small puffs come to something greater. And it looks very natural. I'm loving this. Mind you, so if I kept it, um, if I kept it with the natural spiral texture, it would have looked like a lot like this. Or per se, like it would have looked a lot like this little curl right here. So I just decided to open them up. And it actually came to my actual hair texture, which I really appreciate. Like this looks great. I was worried before because the puffs were a little big. It was at the 10 inch mark. And I was worried that it would look too big for me because I'm a small girl, I have a small head. I don't want nothing, you know, looking a little out of place and looking unnatural. But with a little snip snip here and there, everything came out fine. Everything came out beautiful. And I could go with a natural face or I could go with a beat face. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm feeling this. I'm looking very Afrocentric. <laughs> I look like I could go to Curl Fest. Don't touch my hair. Like, literally. Listen. Okay. So, you guys, I don't have anything to say except that this hair, this hairstyle, all of this came out spectacular like everything came out great everything came out beautiful so yeah guys make sure you like make sure you comment and make sure you subscribe hit that bell so you can get notified for when i drop more videos just like this one and yeah guys thank you for watching bye